So my brothers and sisters, I want to make this video for you guys. I just want to tell you guys that um, to be a Christian, to be an evangelical Christian is a serious thing. It's very serious because we know that God is real. We know He descended from heaven. We know He suffered tremendously for us. It's serious. I want to tell you guys a testimony of what happened to me one time. I was driving and I was thinking in my mind, oh, this is just, you know, I go preach, I go home, and, and then one day I'll die and just go with God, and that's it, you know? And God was like, He was speaking to me very clearly, and He said to me, this is not a game. That's what He said. We might seem, it might seem like it's some sort of game or, or like an adventure, but it's not. It's a serious walk. What we're doing here we're walking towards the kingdom of God and this is very serious you know to be an evangelical Christian oh, to be a born again Christian to preach the gospel of Jesus is a very serious thing I have received many reproof from God many chastisements many corrections but I receive a lot of his love mercy and grace and I'm very thankful to him and look the other day I cut my finger. Sorry, I don't think that I was giving you guys the middle finger. But the other day I cut my finger kind of deep right there. It's, it really hurt me. And then when this happened, I was thinking on how much the Lord suffered for us. It wasn't just not, it was just not the finger. He was his whole body, his whole body. They slapped him, they tortured him, they tormented him. They drove nails through his hands and feet. They lashed his back. They whipped his back. The Bible, the Bible says that his, his visage was, was, was marred. It was all caught in little pieces and, and, and just tormented and tortured. It's a serious work that we're, that we're doing here. It's a serious job, a truthful job to work and to serve God. And this is very serious. So I wanted to tell you guys, the Bible says, you know, take heat lest you fall. You know, take heed lest you fall. So we don't want to fall in anything. We don't want to fall in any willful sin. We don't want to fall in anything bad that could bring condemnation. The Bible says, grudge not against one another lest you be condemned. So be blessed with this message. I want to make another message about grudging against other people. So be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be strengthened. If you walk in obedience with God, you're blessed in Jesus' name. If you're not, you're blessed also. God wants to lift you up right now in the name of Jesus. You're blessed. Be sellers therefore repent. I say this to my own to my own self as well. Be blessed in Jesus' name.